We have Double Bomb Daedalus. In a set of Adori as well. Yeah, but <laughs> things happen. Uh, I wasn't doing 24 hour streams then, Teed. In fact, I think I was almost ready to pack up the stream that one. Um, Scourge Bird Arches again. Sap Seraph this time. We have Primo with Imps. Two Prismal Dust, two Fledgling Imps, and a Grovel. Grovel is almost a superfood, right? Right when I was cutting down the stream time. Like one superfood, two stalwart, and then just grovel. How do you. How do you kill anything, though? With Kevin? Oh, wow. I mean... I'm going to pray for George. George would be pretty good, yeah. And just go quick multi. Find a trample tome or something. Trample. So I really want to take this, um, and Plinks and Imps kind of make it possible. But... Oh man, are we doing this? <clears throat> that is so dumb. Do we have to let I think we have to let them go here. Or hang on. Alright. Alright. Mm. Right. That's gonna be what why couldn't you be one of the other imps? Everything'd be fine then. I think we have to let both of these go and kill off two imps. Or we grovel. And put a morsel down. Because I don't want to buff the imp, right? I have to buff you.
need to eat that to protect against the five. Flip an imp, man. <clears throat> I guess homemade cinnamon rolls? Heck yes. It's a Discord. Let's have a look. <clears throat> hey, I posted those. Mm. Just made me some synonym rolls. Just like Grandma used to make. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I found that the other day. Oh, in Monster Train? Oh, nice. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the stuff. Why am I hungry all of a sudden? For like no reason, I'm really hungry. None whatsoever. <clears throat> Ah, that's alright, Silent. You'll get it right next time. Morsels? More souls! Oh, I gave him passage. You made chili paste? Nice. Massaman? Mm. We can go for a Gorger that doesn't get upgrades, or we can go for a Hellhorned unit which does. What's the better thing to be eaten? What did we say? Oh, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, Kevin would be good with the automatic multi strike. Could also be a Gorger. I hate doing this side first. This is why I hate doing it. I should have. But Hellhorned units. How do you take a Hellhorned unit? You just don't, right? Yeah. You just don't. We have to take something in case that Umbra Banner whiffs. Okay, we can Warden, I think.
Food prawn. Mm. <clears throat> Isn't Warden not always better than Collector? That's right. He's not always better than Collector. In fact, he's rarely better than Collector. Um... I think this is one of those times where he could be better than Collector. It's a tough call. <clears throat> My Collector over Warden most times. Um, because you only need one lifesteal to get back to full health at the end of a turn. <clears throat> Whereas you need one damage shield for everything that's hitting you. Um, and for most part, like even with this one, where with three out of four Seraphs hit three times a turn. So you need three more, <clears throat> to last one turn, you need three morsels. Um, Sap Seraph's even worse because there's so much multi-strike in the fight. But the problem with that is that um, you need a lot more health. So both of the dogs can struggle in this fight. Sap Seraphs, it's only Impatient that's a, that's a one hitter. All the others are 3 by 10. Um, the Double Gorge on Lifesteal Dog is nice, but it's usually too much Gorge anyway. Whereas what it can do for us here is hopefully just bank us up a, a ton of um, shield. There's four shield already. add multi-strike to dog and it, do it doesn't take away whereas multi-strike takes away the so you can multi you could probably multi-strike with double gorge on um, lifesteal dog because uh, you're, you're going to have enough gorges Just had to hit one of these. This one, you know. Like maybe, maybe.
So if we'd taken... <clears throat> if we'd been given stalwart and superfood at the start, I think I would have taken superfood. Um... And then get the choice of store it or super food at the second one. And store it, I think, would be better. We don't want to start, like, the extra damage shield pass over is nice, but we wanted more turns to get more grovels on to, like, really boost the damage shield numbers. But since we've got aggressive, I don't think I'd, I'd, super, I'd, I'd super food from there because you're only going to get three turns at it. So if we don't get the grovel in soon enough, so we might as well just grovel our own guy, which means we don't need space, we need more morsels. Uh, against uh, idiots. Ah, so now here's the question. Do we take Kevin? I don't think we do. I think we've got a plan. Although Kevin's really strong. I mean, clearly Siege. Yeah, you're right. I know chat wants seed. Oh yeah, I, I don't care though. I'm win streaking, I'm gonna keep it that way. Merchant of Steel and an Umbra Banner. What's the next Merchant of Steel? Yeah. Kevin can solve some damage issues, but <clears throat> some damage issues. Yeah. The multi strike's pretty good. But without quick, he dies. <clears throat> Man without hair? Zero, probably. <laughs> Let's go like at least 50 per hour. 51 even. Play Warden. They get Kevin fed and then put Warden in front. Oh, we got Grobbles though. We can get hold over on Grobble though.
many spacey deals? One. They don't go on the same line though. <laughs> Um, because I need... I gotta eat.
Up, Kevin. <clears throat> Transcendent. Oh, forever consumed here. <clears throat> oh man, that's uh. <laughs> well, you're putting yourself out there, dude. Take Dark Deal here. Kill Shade Wings. So does Endless Molting Imp, I guess. Steven! Do we want dog anymore? I don't think we want dog anymore. But I don't want shadow. Uh, I don't say don't want shadow eater. <clears throat> shadow eater dies so easily. In that last fight. We just need him to last like two waves though. If we take him, we have to take energy, which is Scourge Bird anyway. Okay. You gotta get rid of dog. Dog dog fought one good fight. He did a good job. He will be missed. He's left behind by uh, two curiously dog shaped looking imps. Always did what will happen to that lady imp who deserted the train. Oh, it was a real easy arrow. I just took a piece of bone dog and chucked it down this hole and um, damage shield dog just jumped in after it. And then we just pulled away. Steve with double gorge. <clears throat> that shouldn't have even been a question.
Hmm. There's spikes, I can't put those guys there. It's funny. <laughs> Primordium, Kevin and Steve walk into a bar. I mean, a big Kevin and a big Steve walk into a bar. Yeah, later, bro. I put minus one on it, nice. Where's this? Where's my morsels, dude? Come on. Alright, that's fine. I forgive you. Stupid spikes, why do you most have to eat? go there? Man, this is gonna suck. <laughs> it's gonna suck real bad. Okay. I like cookies, but you can keep them. Chicken wing. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think we take a chicken wing. Feast, hey.
<laughs> so you, your waifu doesn't like cookies or chocolate, so you get to keep. So you buy chocolate chip cookies, you know, just to just to make sure you get them right. Sweep, but no sweeping. Do we want money? Thingies here. Sweeper boss. to make sure I wipe those out. I was just waiting for Plink to hit this twice. Oh man, I would be so angry. There would have been rage.
Thanks, Pennywise, yeah. Doing the best I can. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Stupid thing. I think we need more offense. Ember cash, maybe. Could get around to a big prismal dust. Is Impish Scholar that bad if it gives us back a consumed plink? No. Okay. We could get a um, a bottle of mosses as well. Pants is always sleepy. I don't sleep very well. I actually get the I get the best. Not too strange, but I, I get the best sleep I can. Um, not this, not the the stream after the twenty four hour stream because that's only a nap, um, and not the one after that because that's a Sunday and everyone's home, so it's pretty loud. Um, but yesterday, so the, the, the sleep I woke up to before for. Yeah, before this stream is the best sleep. So it's like the third sleep after the 24 hour stream is when I get my best sleep of the month. Have I ever had a zero pie damage run? I think so. It doesn't really mean anything. You don't get any extra out of it either. It's not like Slay the Spire. I mean, you do get a little bit more score for not <clears throat> from not taking pie damage. But. I don't have to rule Sunday's quiet day. No, just because my sleep pattern is better. Like, I've got kids. I can't... I don't want to say to them, oh, just because I sleep strangely, you know, because I, it's the way I am. I don't want them not to have fun and have to, like, stay super quiet. Especially in winter when, like, they're going to be inside, you know. I just deal with it. Uh... About to turn 13 and 10. So it's not so bad. They're pretty quiet anyway. But just the two. So I guess multi on Kevin really sit up, steps up the damage for us. And we don't really need much here. We could go for like a, a permafrost on one of the prismal dusts. Oh, so getting, actually getting health on Kevin is really important. Uh, okay, we don't have any demons. We do have a chance at rage for Allied Construct. And it's not awful. Like, that's an extra six. And if we get another multi, it's just not great, right? And if and I'm not going to be getting rid of those imps. But I don't think we're going to be using it. Plus saps in play. Uh, not really, Arrow, because, like, they've got music, but, um, it's, a uh, headphones. I find, no, we didn't even have to enforce headphones, like, they just use headphones. Uh, and I think that's just something that's sort of happening around, like, gone are the, gone are the days where it was a norm for, 
whatever generation started cranking the stereo for no reason in the middle of the day than to annoy other people. I think, you know, I mean, I liked loud music when I was younger, but I never wanted to play it too, super loud when there were other people in the house because I don't know, I'm just respectful of other people. For the most part, they music on their on their computer or their phone, and they just they got their headsets on. <laughs> Nervously looks at his collection of metal and big speakers. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I did. I I like all types of music. Um, never really got into the super heavy metal. But you know, I had friends that did, and I had big. I had a big stereo system when I was younger. But I guess that was kind of it. Like iPads went around, uh, iPods went around then. So you had, you had stereo systems, or maybe a Walkman. That's the other thing too, the audio in headphones and earplugs and just the comfort of headphones and earplugs in general. Uh, or the fact that people get just like uh, introduced to that. Like I, I don't like wearing headphones, um, but I think that's because I never had to. So whereas there's a lot of people that can't stand wearing glasses when they have to get glasses for the first time in like if they get glasses as an adult, like they can't, it takes a long time to adjust for just the either the weight or the feel around the ears or the pinch on the nose. Um, whereas, you know, children that get them, you know, same now, like they could make a controller for a, a gamepad, like a, the next gen console. And I have no doubt they could put two more buttons on the underside here for your pinky and your, like, for like there, right? And you'd be all like this with it. And we'd pick it up and we'd be like, how the crap am I supposed to use this? And there'd be like six year olds that have been doing it for like a month that would be better than some games, right? <clears throat> my mic is very good for having speakers on uh well i've got the speakers are turned down and they point away from the mic i think that's the biggest mistake a lot of people that don't want to wear head headsets do when they when they've got speakers as well i mean i could have my speakers turned off if i really wanted to right for monster train um and it wouldn't matter uh but that's what people do is they if they they don't want to have a headset on they point the speakers towards them where they can hear it which is bad because then it points into the microphone i think occasionally the mic picks it up a bit but i've got the gain down as low as possible i should probably sit closer to the mic as well but i don't know i think i project just enough yeah, I've got mine on um, the whatever the directional setting is. And the speakers are behind it and face away from it. So I get just enough audio from it. hard now because he's not going to die next turn so we are going to get two of the scourges which kind of sucks yeah. we might not get two of them oh that was really cheap problem is now he's <coughs> this guy's still alive I kind of need you to die there, fella. Mm. 
Although we don't get a Hellborn Harvest because of it, so that's nice, I guess. Um, I believe so, Glory Moon. If you, for people that really want to do it, it does take a. To do that, does in, stuff like that, it increases a lot of your processing power. But you've probably got a computer that can handle if you're doing that. I actually want this one to kill this off. Like, I need need that to happen. Even though I could kill it here, Kevin's going to kill it anyway because he's quick. So I may as well just do that. Um, Because it's endless, I just want to be playing that every turn to kill off these. Because I don't want to get the weight of patricians. Super Seabass Mundo. Double digit streak, let's go. Let's go. We'll see, man. We'll see. I make no promises. This is what I want to do with um, the Shade Wings in the final fight. That's how we want to play that, I think. 95, hey? We can fix that a little bit. Push him to 89. The, the impling gets it, right? That means we don't kill this one at the back, which is annoying. Um, so having some imps here would have been good. That's some not imps. Now we take five. He had a jar of pennies shaking next to his mic and he didn't hear it at all. That sounds pretty fake. The The reason that they... <laughs> I mean, it probably has some AI in it for that. The older ones, what they used to do would be try to subtract the audio that they knew was getting put out to the, to the speakers uh, and then subtract that from the input so it was just leaving your voice. Uh, and under that setting, if you're shaking a jar of pennies, Unless the game is shaking a jar of pennies, you know what I mean?
So it's still it's still possible. Yeah, it's probably you know. Yeah, that's how the that's how the noise cancelling in headphones works, right? It picks up the sounds that aren't equal to what's being output and tries to reduce those from the from what's getting put through. Yeah, the RTX AI AI ones um, pretty cool. I, I, in, even for now, though, I, I don't think anything is um, going to be better than just not having to reduce it in the first place. I have enough fuel. We have enough fuel. Damage shield's a bit of an issue. I don't think that's going to help us. But we'll <clears throat> yeah, that's because there's, at certain parts, um, your voice and sounds overlap in the frequencies and they're reducing that, so they're taking that out of your voice. And that's the issue that happens with that one. Oh, that, I think this solves the problem we might have had. I was, worried for, I was worried for a moment that we might not have enough um, damage here. There, there's somewhat, there's an audio file out there listening to what I just said, and they're like, well, actually, uh, it, it doesn't matter. It's close enough for our little... Make sure I. I oh, that's gonna be cool because we should be able to get the imp down um, to bring back cards before we get. Like we got a lot of value out of those for this. So that was, that was reasonable. A pair of non-virtual. You mean like ones you like physical ones you put on your head? That's going to be important. Though. Yeah, we might get a large ember cache, is what I said. Ah, uh, yeah, that's how the um, the, no the speakers do it, don't they? The countering, the, the countering sound wave. That's the reduction in thing. So that you end up with a um, <clears throat> a balance of what you hear, yeah. That one does better. That does better than the taking sound out of what's going into a microphone because the sound's getting uh, cancelled before it mixes with an existing sound wave or sets of sound waves. So you can do the put the best effort into re removing that sound before it hits a recording. Whereas once it's once something's in the recording and then you've got to try and re remove it, um, you, you know what I mean. You're trying to remove it from everything. Um, Unconsumer primal is good too. Yeah. So 
Seraph could be a problem. Oh, that sucks. I don't want Seraph to be a problem. I want to win. Hmm. How do we win, chat? We need more health on Steve, maybe. I'd like a multi on dude. We could remove some cards. Spells. This is this is a tough choice. What do we have next? Okay. Wow. I think magic is probably better than... I think protection is better than <clears throat> damage. Uh, but we need the damage to... Well, we've got a lot of health. So the permafrosts are really good. Because even if we get really high damage, which I want, if we don't get um, the defense, we can we can just die. Um, I don't think we'll die to waves. Just die. I think like just not lasting against Seraph. Like Seraph just chews out the, the damage shield. I think we're going to be spending the money. Um, plus, in the next fight, we could just pump out a really big one of those. Can't decide if I'm chicken or beef today. Chicken. That's a step in the right direction. I feel like I have to hit magic again. The worst feeling here is taking this. I don't want to take this, but I, I am not confident in the deck. If we'd hit any of the defensive cards in the previous um, shop, I would have been okay with it. But we missed on everything. I mean, we got solid stuff. You need to not use it if you want a gold um, cards, yeah.
that's fine, but we miss out on that. Uh, I think it was the purge cards with the old flower. What if they allowed you to double stack pack morsels? Well, then you'd do double the damage or double the healing. I guess. Or maybe get two lots of the statuses. so I can hit him twice. Blazing bolts with purge becomes consumed, yeah, and the more you play it, the more um, it comes back. Uh, one thing I, I am certain of, if you use it in Seraph, it doesn't show up in the the run log afterwards. So whether that's required to get to count, I don't know. Um, but it's a thing, right? Okay, so it's not, we're not in too bad a shape here. Except all of these fights are these idiots. So more damage down here, I guess. I can't put more damage down here. Um, dudes. I'm not sure they're there now, but. <laughs> when, I, when I don't have anything to gorge on. Nice. I thought I'd end up with more muscle generation. Oh, and I haven't had a big thing. I've only got two damage shields. Oh, we're quick though. So we get three hits in. So we're at 320, 960.
this tap. Wing technology is really interesting. Um, then they're not. Oh, you mean like a singular empty one? Yeah, I guess so. But I think in this case, going to the Merchant of Steel just so that I don't have empty slots is pretty stupid. So it's not a matter of being brave, it's just not being stupid. Um, uh, I would love to get an extra 25 health on Shadow Eater. I would also would have loved to have gotten an extra multi-strike on Alloyed Construct. And even if we knew for certain that I could get those exact upgrades, they're not worth as nearly as much as what it was to get permafrost on um, on a prismal dust. Uh, so even if so, you've really got to weigh that up. Is that even if something usually is bad to to have, <clears throat> is it worse to not have it? if it means missing out on something else. Yeah, and that was the thing I was thinking about. We could still lose because we don't have enough damage. But it was very, very likely we lose because we just didn't have enough defenses. And that does that's the thing. Like You could do 4,000 damage. But if Seraph kills you before you do that, you still lose. Um, and we're definitely not doing 4,000 damage, but we're looking at potentially, you know, if we only got, you know, like five or six, uh, damage shield up, you know, we don't win. We just, we just, we just wouldn't win. Morsel Chumpers is going to be the. So Steve is uh, Kevin is quick. So where it comes into play is if he doesn't get enough damage to kill the heavies. So I think taking the wing technology means that um, if we get two Gilded Wings on the top floor and we can't kill them, he's not losing a damage shield, which is far more important for Seraph since we've got to get through like Seraph's triple hits. Yeah, I was thinking about that, Baconeer. The downside is it does reduce the impolate, which at 150 is really nice. Uh, 135, I don't know. It's probably just as good. What do we got on this fight? <clears throat> no, so the Harvest guys have 140 health. So it kills one of them. Whereas at less, it doesn't. And then they potentially get armor. 
Plus just killing one outright is pretty nice. The feast can be good because it... Uh, where feast is going to do the best thing for us, and I'm, I'm thinking about getting rid of it for this reason, is we only really get one good use out of it, and that's if we get to eat Primo once early because we get to put an extra 40 damage into, into Kevin. My knowledge of the enemy is incredible. I've got it written down. I've got a Google Doc that I, I did from the fights. could get rid of Plink, but they're killing Shade Wings and creating some morsels. Everything everything is pretty valuable. I'm almost thinking not doing something. The Hidden Passage <clears throat> does the least. I don't even remember to open it half the time. Was I going to open it up <laughs> when I have a question? When I'm like, what's happening here? And then I go open it. Multi screen? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. Sap Seraph. So the biggest issue is the shade wings. Once we get the I think once we, if we get the there's a couple things that'll help us immensely. One of those is getting um, the molting in early. Because then we can just play that on the bottom floor and these guys die. Space Prism would be good. Oh, there we Okay, we can give him the five armor there. Yeah, he's quick. And he heals.
I should have lifted that one first. No, I can play it again next turn. Yeah, if I lifted him first, I wouldn't need to play the Imp next turn. If I lift him now, the other guy gets a bit more energy, uh, gets a bit more armor, but I don't have to play the Molting Imp on middle. I can play Molting Imp on bottom, and then I can focus on more Morsels middle to do double damage to them. And the damage shield doesn't matter. I no, probably would have made it. Oh yeah, that's that's probably I think um, the the chain of gems necklace that gives the first unit you play um, two damage shield. That's the thing I do the worst. Um, this one's now is pretty pretty close to next. Faces. I should have got better faced. If he gets sapped, goes down to 140. So we still kill that one in one hit. to do that one. That's right. I need... <laughs> we need to get a big damage shield turn. Would draw through again, but I doubt it. I think this is our best chance to get one of them. Well, he's not dying. Uh oh. Hang on. 
I need that guy to die so I can feed him. I need to not kill these two guys because I need him to <laughs> I need him to hit the morsel so I can feed I can, yeah, okay. Yeah, fuel's... <clears throat> I don't think fuel's an issue. We're at like just over th like 3,300 damage f for fuel. Um, so it's close, but don't, I think we're still... No, damage shield 26, so what's that? That's divided by 3 plus a turn. So we're at 10 turns, so we've got less damage shield than we have uh, fuel available. I mean, they're in there. We just need to get to like one of them, right? Also, not having to do the damage to Seraph will be good, so we might lift that guy. Um, or we'll just kill it. If we just kill it, then we don't have to. Um, that's better if we do it like that, I think. They go fuel and damage shield. Ah, uh, <clears throat> that means we draw less. I don't want to. I don't want to redraw that. Um, so to go like... Three of them are Ember, the Ember Cash cards. You're kidding. I mean, he's dead anyway, but... So we're fine, but <laughs> but <laughs> oh look look how close it is <laughs> five hit points. Oh, that looks better. I like that. That looks a lot better. Let's do it like that. Oh. Oh, it's not even close. Not even close. If I put two morsels out front, we would have finished with um, three damage here. <laughs> 
Yeah, I never didn't have it. I don't know what you guys are worried about. <clears throat> Did they upgrade the graphics on Damage Shield? I don't know, dude. I don't pay enough attention to the, the pretty pictures. Praise Chicken Wing. Sure. Thanks, Aris Jackson. They fix melee interact weakness. As far as I've always known, um, melee weakness reduces by one every time it hits a damage. Uh, if you get hit with a damage shield, you also lose the damage shield. 